are there any lessons learned at this point of things that you would do a little different as you rolled it out? That's, I, I laugh, Bill, because I go, no. <laughs> uh, I, I say that I say that from the standpoint of the partnership and the implementation, we're making it sound very, very fast, and it was to, to stand up our pilot. Nuance wants to make sure that this is successful as well. This isn't just a, we hear about virtual reality and we're seeing that kind of being starting to creep in, or is it really something that's going to happen? So Nuance had a bunch of KPIs, as Lance talked about, that we really wanted to manage and maintain. Early on, because Nuance has had success with other specialties like ortho and some of those others, we're an organization that goes, we knew where this is going to go, Bill. This was something that Lance and I have been had our pulse on for many years about where Ambient was, and we said, listen, let's, let's try it in the hardest areas first, because if that works, the, the complexity that you see now in primary care, the variation of care, we didn't want to go down the road of what has already been proven. We wanted to prove to this organization that can work in the harder areas, and it is. Or Lance mentioned, it, this isn't just tongue-in-cheek. He actually got a visceral reaction from a provider of being hugged by a provider and saying, you've saved my life. And we would love to say, yeah, we developed Nuance Stacks. That's all on us. It's our partnerships. It's what we brought to the table. And so this is where we're, we're talking as an organization, the buzz around DAX around here is that of how fast can we get it out there? As Lance mentioned, this is an early technology. And so the cost uh, conversation, and this is where the partnership with Nuance has been great as well, to talk about don't price out the smaller organizations and early technology adopter because we're ready and willing to roll it out to everyone and not just doing these little pilots here and there that really don't take take off. We've had conversations with Nuance. In fact, this morning we had a great conversation about what we want to focus on next, which is we want to stand up primary care. We need to give back to our primary care specialists and say, you're going to get this tool. Because many times they're the one that course for our organization. We saw that through COVID. We see that as we keep going, we want to give back to them. And nuance this conversation about how do we make that happen for an organization like us? You never really try to find a, a vendor like that. I'm not going to knock Epic, but we all know early on in the Epic career, they only, they only went for whales. Uh, they went for large organizations because they thought, well, those are the only ones that could sustain it. Metro was another organization. We were one of the first mid to small markets to show, no, if you do it in a smart sort of way, and you're really focused, just like a partnership with Nuance, we can make that work. And that's, that's again, where this partnership has really been blossoming between the two organizations. I wouldn't say that there was anything that I would change as far as the rollout uh, from a global perspective. There are things that I would recommend for providers and, and for people. Like, I'll give an example. DAX will, will create this, this, uh, this suite or this, this studio, they call it, that is just for me. So they can teach DAX to, to construct my notes in the way that I like it. And uh, I think I think one of the things I personally didn't do was put enough time into that. So once DAX went live, I had to work with Nuance uh, about creating um, a, a more tailored DAX studio. So I think that's important. Making sure that, that Nuance has your templates, not that they are just regurgitating your templates, but they're teaching the system to document how you like to document. Again, it's that AI, which then helps everyone else. The AI gets better and it gets better for everyone. So that would be one thing that I would really encourage anyone who's doing this is to, is to put a little more time in the up. When, when Nuance asks for your, for your templates, what do your typical notes look like? That would be something I would spend more time on. And then the other piece is, which has been a little uncomfortable for some providers is, is either talking out or then, or later dictating the physical exam. Because right now, it's hard for the computer to know what your physical exam is, and so you really have to kind of dictate that. Other than that, I would agree with Josh. It, 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 it was easy to roll out. It's easy to use. It's been a great experience.